interference over one no Trump today. And let me switch to the, uh, okay, I need to, how long have I been doing this? I think I'd remember how to do this. <laughs> and let's start by um, sharing my screen with you. And hopefully you can all see that screen. <clears throat> I'm just going to minimize myself. And what we're going to be looking at um, today is interference over one no Trump. And there are two kinds of interference you'll come across. One is where the opponents double your double the one no Trump bid, <clears throat> which is normally a penalty double. And we'll be talking about how you defend against that using the Helmet Convention, for those of you who are here on Friday afternoon. And um, the other kind of interference you can have is if the opponents overcall your partner's one no Trump. And if they overcall with two of a suit bid, that should normally show a good five or six card suit with 10 to 15 points. I don't, by the way, recommend that you make a very light overcall over one no Trump. For one thing, you'll be over, have to overcall at the two level and <clears throat> the opponents will be in an ideal position to double you for penalties, um, which is not something they can do normally over if you overcall over a suit. So uh, an overcall of two of a suit over one no Trump should be a pretty sound overcall. And we're going to talk about how you should defend against that. So when your partner opens one no Trump and there's been a two level overcall, I recommend the following system that normal systems like transfers and statement are off and that a double is for penalties. Because your partner has made a bid that narrowly defines his hand, a double should show a hand with a good holding in the opponent's suit and something like nine points or more. We'll look at uh, examples of that in a, in a moment. And basically the idea is that if you have nine or more points, uh, you know your partner's got at least 12, you have the balance of points and you should be thinking about making a penalty double. So I recommend that a double should be a penalty double there. That, by the way, should be alerted because most doubles of low level suit contracts are for takeout. Uh, so it don't interrupt me if I'm going too fast. I will show examples of all of these in a moment, though. Um, what else? Um, if your partner, if, if over the overcall, you can bid a suit at the two level, that's natural and fairly weak. It should be something like six to 10 points. No interest in game, for example. And um, <clears throat> other uh, situations you need to think about is if you respond by bidding a minor at the three level, um, that is not forcing, just competitive, but a bid of a major to three level is normally treated as forcing and shows a five card <clears throat> suit in that major. Any jump bid in a new suit at the three level is forcing and in a major should show a five card suit. And of course, if you jump to four of a major, that is to play in four of a major and should normally show a six card suit. Um, so let's uh, have a, 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 oh yeah, sorry, let's continue with that. A couple more things that bidding the opponent's suit now is used as a cue bid and it replaces stamen and is game forcing. It's used to show at least one four card major and will lead to either four of the major or three no trump. That bid should also be alerted as it is artificial. And bids like two no trump or three no trump are natural. Two no trump is invitational to three no trump and three no trump is of course to play there. They do not necessarily guarantee a stopper in the opponent's suit. Although you'd like to have one, you may have a hand where you've got enough points for game and where the only possible game seems to be three no trump. And you can't really be put off bidding three no trump there um, because you may find that the opponent's overcall is not a solid suit. So um, that, that's the traditional normal meanings of two no trump or, or three no trump. Um, and these, 
uh, ideas. I, I, I follow very closely what's recommended by Ron Klinger in his Guide to Better Ackold Bridge. And he describes uh, this system um, and a few other little tweaks as well. So if you don't have that book, I do recommend it. It's um, considered, you know, one of the most, um, <clears throat> one of the best books to cover a lot of uh, bidding systems and conventions and dealing with overcalls and so forth. Um, just a word of warning, it is quietly densely written. So you, you uh, but it does cover an awful lot in, in there. So I do recommend that that book. And most of what I'm describing tonight is, is very much um, in sync with what Ron Klinger recommends. So let's look at some examples of this. And let's have a look where South here, your partner has opened one no trump, 12, 12 to 14. West makes a two spade over call. And you've got to decide what to bid here. Well, you've got 13 points, which should be enough for game. And you've got a five card heart suit. So you can show that by bidding three hearts. Um, obviously, you can't bid transfers in this situation. Um, so you bid three hearts here to show uh, a five card suit. That is a forcing bid and should either lead to four hearts or three no trump. So here, if your partner's got three hearts for you, because your three heart bid promised a five card suit with an eight card trump fit, you should end up in four hearts, which should be a good place to play this hand. Do interrupt me if you have any questions about this. Um, or here over two spades, here North has got a six card, six, um, card, six cards heart suit. Tony. Tony, yeah. would it be very wrong to jump, say three no trump? On would what? On the previous wrong? one? On this one? Yeah. Previous one. Yeah. Well, three three hearts is a much better bid because it gives okay. you um, a choice of playing in, in three hearts or three no trump. If or your partner didn't want to support your hearts, maybe if they only have two hearts, and if they, especially okay. if they have a spade stopper, then they could bid three no trump. But okay. on this particular okay. layout, I think um, four hearts is a much better contract than three no trump. If the opponents lead a spade, they can knock out your spades and you yeah. won't be able to make the contract without um, playing the minor suits and they may get in and... Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Get in. All right. And, uh, uh, thank you. All right, so I'm just going to mute you there because it was a bit of... Um, echoing there. So um, <clears throat> if you have a six card suit, though, you know you've got an eight card fit and with enough points for game, you should just bid uh, four hearts yourself, regardless of how many hearts your partner has, you've got an eight card fit. So those are sort of fairly straightforward, I think. Um, <clears throat> what about this one? Here your partner opens one no trump, there's a two heart overcall. Anyone like to tell you what they think North might bid with this hand? You've got eight points. Do unmute yourselves if you'd like to uh, speak up. I haven't got a poll on this. Anyone pass. Like Sorry, pass. 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 I'd pass. Would you? <laughs> Any with other eight points? Well, hang on a minute. Let's think. Double. Double. <laughs> ah, no, I guess. Two spades. Yeah. yeah. How about two spades? That's what I agree with Steve. Yeah. You 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 don't have enough for game. This is the kind of hand where um even without any interference, you would want to play this in two spades. You would, you know, transfer maybe and then play it in two spades. So two two spades here shows some points. Um maybe like five points. Five to ten. There's a bit of echoing there from uh, someone. So, um, if you uh, if you unmute yourselves, yeah. If you're, uh, if, you know, there's a bit of echoing. So someone's got um, some echoing going. So I'm, I'm muting everyone there. Um, yeah. So you've got some points, um, say five to ten, and you likely have a, a fit in spades. So by all means, bid 
two spades and that might end the auction or at least you might push the opponents higher if they decide to uh, compete in hearts. You can see both sides, uh, you, you don't have enough for game, but two spades should be um, a reasonably good contract for you if the opponents let you play there. Um, <clears throat> what about this one? Here it's gone one no trump, two spades. Again, you've got enough points for game. Um, and the way to show this hand is to Q-bid the opponent's suit, to bid three spades here, which is a uh, used as a Q-bid. Um, and it, it sorry, it's used as a replacement for stamen, if you like. So here it um, will allow you to find a heart fit if you have it. So the three spade bid is artificial and it should be alerted. Um, it's it's just like a, a direct bit of two clubs would be saying, do you have a four card major? And obviously the major you're interested in here is only the other major. So if your partner has four hearts for you, they should bid four hearts. If they don't have four hearts, they have to bid three no trump. Um, so that's what bidding the opponent suit means in this situation. It's used to say, partner, do you have a four card major? Um, and here, if, if your partner doesn't have a four card major, then they, they obviously can't let you play it in three spades and they have to bid three no trump. So if you don't have a fitted hearts, then three no trump would probably be the best <clears throat> uh, spot to play in. Do interrupt me if you have any comments on that. Um, you can also do this if they've bid a minor. So here, one no trump, uh, West bids two diamonds. Here, <clears throat> you could take a punt on three no trump, but a much better option is to bid three diamonds. That's artificial and should be alerted. And here you've got four spades, so you end up in uh, a um, four spade contract. Um, by the way, when that three diamond bid is made, the way you alert it on real bridge or in face to face bridge is that <clears throat> your partner says alert. So North bids three diamonds and South clicks on the alert card and says alert. And if you are asked about it, you uh, you would describe that as saying your partner is asking me to bid a four card major if I have one. OK, so the, those are normal treatments if uh, if you cubid the opponent's suit. Um, let's have a look at this one. This time I do have a poll on this one. South opens one no trump. There's a two spade overcall. And I'm going to launch in a poll in a moment to ask you, what do you think North should bid? So don't answer verbally. And just have a little think if you can tell me what you think North should bid on this hand. So I'm in the poll and I'm going to share the results with you. And that's a, quite an interesting result. Fairly evenly divided there between pass and double of 39%. And quite a few went for two no Trump. So let's have a look and see what we think about that. Well, you know when your uh, partner opens one no trump that you, between you and your partner, you have the balance of a point. On average, you have 22 points, let's say. Yeah. So you probably don't have enough for game here, um, but you have an excellent chance of being able to defeat two spades. First of all, you have more points than the opponents. Secondly, your you have a good spade suit, and your spades are well situated. <clears throat> that is to say that um, West has got the spades and you've got the ace, jack, eight, five. So you'll be able to make at least two spades there um, in all likelihood. And having the balance of points and a good spade holding means that you should really be thinking about doubling. And a double here, would be for penalty. 
The other way to think about this is that with you having four spades, you know your partner's got at least two. So you, and between you and your partner, you have at least six trump, and they can't have more than seven trump between them. So they don't have a great trump fit. So the recommended bid here is to double. And because the double is a penalty double of a low level suit contract, um, it should be alerted. So that double is used as a penalty double because the one no trump bid is a bid that narrowly defined your partner's hand. So you're in a good position to decide about whether to make a penalty double. And I think really a double is by far the best bid as long as you defeat two spades. There's no certainty you're going to make two no trump and to pass is just um, very weak to, to let them off. On this particular layout, which is um, here, you can see West has got a very sound um, uh, two spade overcall there, I would say, with 11 points. But nonetheless, two spades should go down two according to the computer analysis. Uh, and that would get you a score of 300 or 500, depending on whether East <clears throat> and West are vulnerable. So I definitely would recommend double there in preference to uh, bidding two no Trump, for example. Um, I thought, Tony, they had, uh, you have 22 points, which is uh, okay for two no Trumps. That's why, and fairly good spades. Right. So, the, prob the problem with two no Trump is that it's, it's invitational to three no Trump. Oh, you mean he might go to three then? Yeah. So, yes, you, 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 maybe you'll make, maybe you could make two no trump. I mean, what's good about this hand is that your spades are well situated, yeah. mm -hmm. but you shouldn't, you wouldn't normally expect to make game here. Also, even if you were to make a part score of two no trump, that would mm -hmm. only score, say, 120, and you'll get a much better score if you can defeat them doubled. Um, yeah. down to which will be you know 300 or 500 it's uh -huh. actually because you don't have game your way that the double is much Better. more attractive okay right. okay so, so 300 would not be a great score if you oh. made game your way but it could be a great score if all you can make is a, is a part score mm -hmm. thank okay. you so the double there is is really recommended right. uh, uh, what about this one? Here's a, here's the second and final poll of the evening. And here you've got a slightly stronger hand in points, but a slightly weaker suit. You've got 15 points. And again, I'm going to launch a poll in a moment to ask you what do you think North should bid here? OK, let's uh, end the poll there. And... I share the results with you. You can see that um, the vast majority have gone for three no trump uh, with a smaller number for three diamonds, two no trump double or pass. And this one is not perhaps quite so straightforward, um, but there's a lot to be said for bidding three no trump here. Um, one uh, thing is, you don't know whether the opponent's suit is solid and, and you know the, it's going to run. It's quite possible that your partner um, will have a spade stopper and you've got something in spades. That jack is of some, some use. And with, as you can see, North South have got 28 points and you really don't want to, um, you really want to you know, bid something there as a North hand. I think the two possibilities are either three no Trump or um, to double, and the double again would be for penalties. Here it's done based really on the fact that you know you've got at least 27 points between the two of you, and you're a bit worried about whether they're going to run the spades, but I, I think you should either bid three no trump or double two spades, and probably three no trump is, is better. On this particular layout, as I've got it, um, North-South can make three no trump, so you would score 460 or 660 if uh, you were vulnerable, or 
you would be able to defeat two spades doubled should go down uh, with best defense by three and then you would score 500 or 800 depending on whether east west were vulnerable here i've said that they're not no one is vulnerable um so it it's it's a close call as to to what what the best thing is probably best to bid three no trump because that's probably what most people will be in and what you may find is that a number of wests might not overcall two spades might bid pass and then you would end up in three no trump so so you might want to be, be where everyone else is going to end up here too um on the other hand if i change the hand slightly if i keep the north hand the same but change the um south and the east hand slightly now um three no trump won't make because west actually has a solid um uh, a solid spade suit and will be able to take uh, the first six tricks with the ace king queen and then the nine three two of spades so on this particular layout it would have worked out better to double two spades rather than uh, bid three no trump so it's very hard to know you know what the right thing to do is here um and it you know it really depends you might sort of think what you think of your opponents whether you think they're going to be making light over calls and also you'd be influenced by the vulnerability in other words if east west were vulnerable you should be more inclined to penalize them whereas if you were vulnerable you'd be more inclined to perhaps bid bid game tony on this bidding why wouldn't west double the three no trumps yeah perhaps he would that's a good point i mean west of course can't be certain of defeating three no trump um he, a good he chance though yeah he, he i mean if if the spades don't run then then it may work he won't run it won't make him so yeah that's um that's a good point yes tony what yes. should south bid if it was doubled by north well <laughs> i don't think there's anywhere to run is there oh what, what you mean if north doubles or if west doubles if north doubled the south would pass so if south bid one no trump and west bids two spades and north doubles south must pass that that's a penalty double and you oh. have no reason to um to bid anything else yeah so the the penalty double sorry if i wasn't clear when if north does make a penalty double south must pass okay thank you any other questions okay so I suppose I put this last hand is a sort of a tricky one, but um, yeah, it, it shows some of the difficulties of deciding what to bid. Um, so I'll just summarize there. This is a, a summary sheet of, of what we've been talking about. Um, over a two level overcall, normal systems are off. A double is for penalties and should be passed. Uh, bids at the two level are natural and fairly weak. Bids of a minor at a three level is not forcing. Um, any jump bid is forcing. Uh, and um, a bid of a major at the three level is also forcing and shows a five card suit. Um, by the way, this system as described here is very similar to a more complicated system called uh, Labensol that some of you may come across. Um, I would recommend Labensol to more advanced students it covers all this and then some more as well. Um, Honey, would that be in the, the excellent publication, I'm, Modern I'm Bridge Bidding? I'm afraid it's not, no. Oh, it's, it's beyond okay. the scope of that book. Um, so, but if, if, um, if, you, if you want to, uh, to cover Laban Sol, uh, you can. It's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a good convention it's cool. and it deals with this situation even in a bit little more detail than, than this is covered here um okay um the only other thing i wanted to look at was the last time um we covered this topic we played some hands afterwards and i just wanted to look at what happened on uh, on some of those hands um so here's one where dealer was east north uh, sorry south here opened one no trump you can see that um 
uh, <coughs> West here has got a, a very sound two hearts over call. And North has got one, two, three, uh, seven points, but with a five card suit should in two spades. And two spades, as you can see, is a good contract. You can see according to the computer, um, it says that North South can make two spades. You can see that those people who played it in two spades generally did quite well, uh, mainly making nine tricks. Um, some East West went carried on and bid three hearts. Uh, according to the computer, that can, can be defeated, but a lot of people who bid um, two or three hearts um, made nine tricks and did quite well. Um, but those who tried to play it in no trump, uh, the bottom here, two no trump uh, went down three, three no trump went down four. Um, so, you know, that's, that's not a great contract to be in at all here. You can see both sides have got about 20 points, seven and 13 each way. Um, and really two spades is, is where you want to be playing it. So those people who bid three no trump got into, uh, got into quite bad trouble on this one. Um, and another one I thought I'd look at was, um, this was board four. Um, and again here West uh, would have passed here North opens one no trump, East would overcall two diamonds. And this is a kind of hand where South with 10 points and a good diamond suit, Ace 10, seven, three, should double. And that's in fact where most people ended up on this hand. They ended up playing it in two diamonds by East, going down um, to uh, someone, one, two or three tricks basically. Um, depending on how well it was uh, played and defended. Um, but doubled, that's a pretty good score. Um, uh, and, you know, and it's, it's probably the best you can do. Again, if we look, um, we can see at the bottom here, uh, one person played this in three no trump, um, and that went down two. And of course, that was a bottom score for north south. So much better to double two diamonds and take a, take a doubled penalty there. Any comments on that? I did also want to look at look at this one here. Uh, one of the one of the hand one of the players ended up in two spades, and uh, if I click on that, you can see what happened there. It went one no trump, two diamonds double. Um, but West here tried to rescue their partner because they've got. Um, a singleton diamond, and they've got their own five card suit. It's a reasonable uh, to try to rescue your partner and bid two spades. Now, I wouldn't normally recommend that. Normally, I would think, well, my partner has bid two diamonds, um, and you know, unless I have a really good reason, I will let them play play there. Um, as it turned out, the two spade bid was doubled as well and went down two. In fact, on this hand, after two spades is bid, it really is North who should double. North should double two spades um, because he knows his partner is doubling two diamonds for penalty and he's got excellent spades. So it really should be North who, who doubles two spades. Um, but as it turned out, he passed, passed and South doubled two spades. South doesn't really have great trumps in spades, but the double worked out well in that case. But there is something to be said for bidding two spades because you might end up in a better contract than in two diamonds, and you also might not get double. So um, it is legitimate to pull that, uh, to try and rescue your partner from a doubled contract, um, but it's um, not always the right thing to do. You can get yourselves in worse trouble. Any other uh, comments or questions on any of that? So as is usual on, the, on these hands, you know, you always get a, a wide variety of um, results. So you can see one, one pair made two diamonds, um, one, uh, one went down three in two diamonds. So, you, you know, you can replay these hands and, and see what was, uh, what was a defense that allowed them to make um, three, uh, make two diamonds. 
One other thing I will mention, if you're defending a doubled contract, I would, uh, like at a low level here, I would suggest you adopt the same technique as you would if it was not doubled. Just because it's doubled, I sometimes see people sort of um, adopting sort of unusual defense strategies, like, you know, trying to cash their winners straight away. Um, and don't do that. Just Just play it as you would normally play it and hopefully you'll get a, a good result. Anyway, that's it for the, uh, for the talk today.